Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to your to High Media TV. I'm your host, I'm from High Media TV, live from California now. If you were wondering about the change in posting times, I swapped everything to be at my local time so I can get rid of this fucking jet lag. I want to die. Anywho, uh, on to our, our top story of the day is some changes to Steam's terms of service that, despite, you know, being a hard pill to swallow, is good, and I will explain why. Not good, but, like, better. But first, our headlines. Head of Black Ops 6 launch at Activision says Call of Duty's AI-powered voice moderation has already had a massive impact on toxicity. Game Freak had a gigantic leak revealing Pokemon source code for all the games going back, I think, to Generation 7. Uh, unused design, switch to details, and unannounced of Gen 10 games. And on to our main story. Steam now warns players they are only buying a license for a game at checkout. California recently signed a new consumer protection law, law around digital purposes and an update to the checkout process of, of the popular storefront. Uh, a, digital, the, the new appearing thing appears for a digital product grants a less early product on Steam. While this has always been the case, such warnings have been previously reserved for terms and conditions pages. As retailers continue to pivot away from selling physical media, the need for consumer protections on the purchase of digital media has been increasingly important. While these protections currently only apply in California, it would only appear that Valve is getting ahead of similar rulings elsewhere as the debate over ownership continues. Several high-profile companies have taken games entirely offline in recent years, leading to many players question the legality of removing access to games people have paid for. Yeah. Um, the lack of like ownership over games like it's something that really frustrates and angers me and it's something and it's one of the biggest issues for us as gamers you know our meat like you know like we held on a lot longer like the digitalification and lack of ownership around your media media ownership you know especially around movies and music and it is, it is now starting to hit a critical mass with games you know i would say that piracy is illegal and it is legal illegal all over the world and i will also say Is it theft if it's impossible to own? If 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 if, if, if there's if if it is not ownership, it is not theft. You know, morally, legally, you're still committing a crime. But morally, I think it is morally okay to pirate um, many many different games. The only ones that's generally, I think, not okay to do so too are indie games um, that aren't owned by big studios. So that's generally it for me. But. Yeah, um, this is just kind. Of, this is just going to end up being the sort of acceptance of like the current status quo in that regard. I'm not happy about it. I don't like it. I don't really want it to be this way either. But you know, that's the way the cookie crumbles, unfortunately. At the very least, you know, this paired with the fact that Valve also like got rid of forced arbitration out of their terms of service. Um. I like that Valve is at least getting ahead of this and being more transparent. Like, it shows that Valve is like better than most other companies. Other companies are going to fight like rulings like the California ruling tooth and nail because they don't want to, you know, they want they want people to they don't want people to be upset that they can't own their games. Like that that's that's that, that, that's just the reality of it. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hivmedia.gg/discord. Discord links there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hivmedia.gg/10. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have a great day.